Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload from me. welcome back to another cleaning motivational video i hope you guys are doing well it is a late night clean with me and full of cleaning motivation after putting the kids down i finally got some time to clean the house and thank you all so much for coming back for another video so i hope you enjoy so let's get started okay guys i have my to-do list written out so i can visually see what i need to get done it is late and i'm hoping to get as much done uninterrupted i know i have to stop a few times to feed the baby but we are going to tackle everything so today we are starting in the kitchen first and i'm just putting some stuff away and i wanted to start in the kitchen because i did cook earlier and i wanted to go ahead and get that cleaned first guys my boys are getting bigger which means they are eating a lot more we need bigger plates especially for the not the bowls but the regular size plates i needed to get some new ones so i went ahead and make sure to get three sets because we have three boys and i don't want them to fight for a certain color i want to make sure that each of them have a color and while i was unwrapping everything I noticed that one of the cups had an ant in it, which is kind of weird because it was covered with plastic. That just goes to show you that no matter if something is wrapped, make sure to wash before using. This is like a perfect example, like wash before you use it. So before washing the non-dishwasher items, I did go ahead and refill my Mrs. Meyers bottle or soap bottle. I took the labor off because sometimes I do use the Dawn disc or any other regular soap and I don't know, I just look better without the label. So I took that off. But um, I am using the basil and oh my gosh, it's my first time using it. And I've had it for a while but just never used it. It smells absolutely amazing guys. It smells so good. I also use it as a hand soap too. It leaves my hands smelling really good. And for the other dishes, I'm just removing the food particles before putting it in the dishwasher. It's just something that I like to do. I normally do it all the time and I don't know, it just makes me feel better I guess. Because I don't like to put anything in a dishwasher with, with a ton of food on it, I just like to use a microfiber cloth and just wipe it down first before throwing it in a dishwasher. It's just a preference. I know everybody do everything differently. It just makes me feel a bit more comfortable knowing that everything will be squeaky clean. Oh no, I don't even care to drive. I'll see you in a while, cause this time I will choose you, yeah. Like 
this is something I normally don't show in my cleaning videos however I just decided to want to show it in this one so I have a habit of washing my hands each time I'm done loading the dishwasher because of the food particles I feel like maybe there's some still on my hand or under my fingernails and also after I'm done taking the trash out like I have to wash my hands I, I don't know it's just a habit I know guys we have apples that's gonna last us for weeks but with my kids they're not gonna last for weeks because these kids love apples my mom sent over two bags of apples she know the kids love apples so when she was doing her grocery shopping she bought two extra bags my sister was coming down so she had my sister bring it and anytime I get fresh fruits what I like to do is put the fresh ones at the bottom and the ones that were already here at the top it's kind of like when you go to the grocery store the the newer items are all in the back and the ones that were already there is in the front well that's what I like to do with my groceries so that way when the kids go and grab an apple they would be grabbing the ones that was here first and with all these apples I am thinking about making a delicious apple crisp oh my goodness my mouth is getting watery as I'm saying it. Oh, so good. And sometimes what I like to do with the crumbs is put it in a bowl with some ice cream and cut up some banana slices. Oh my goodness. Heaven. This was a few hours before so early in the day I did cook dinner so I just wanted to add it and show you guys a quick snippet and it's also like behind the scenes in a way because there are times when I'm cleaning I have to stop and do other things and those other things I don't film so for this one I thought it would be interesting to go ahead and film a really really quick snippet and show you guys it's kind of like behind the scenes in a way so if you guys like that and want to see more of what I do in between cleaning leave a comment down below and let me know so can I get some closure? Stay right where you are and don't come closer. If you ever picked it up, it's So that is what I cooked for dinner earlier. I just wanted to go ahead and throw that in there so that way you guys can, you know, see what I made, what I had, what we had for dinner. And also, if it's an interest for you guys, I can do a cook and clean with me video and the cooking part will be a little longer. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I had earlier. And it was so quick because everything was already prepped. And, and did I say delicious? Oh my goodness, it was delicious. Yeah, this back area was the worst because the kids were using the books to build uh, buildings with them, which is pretty interesting. They were stocking them up and trying to build big buildings. So yeah, so that's how the books got everywhere, but that's okay because they were being creative with it. And majority of the books that we had we decluttered so i will go ahead and put a link in the description box so if you're interested in seeing that declutter video go ahead and check it out so much lately about your face when you're smiling it's the only thing that saves me mm -mm. hey i don't know if i told you that i think you're beautiful and how i can't wait to hold you yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down and I don't know. So now I am just picking up the rest of the stuff that needs to get picked up. 
And once I go to the pantry, I normally organize them what needs to be recycled and what doesn't. I am so into recycling, it's crazy. And I know it's not everything I can always, always recycle, but I try my best to recycle what I can. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now I'm looking to my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise So I noticed I'm low on a few of my cleaning supplies, which I need to stock up on, but I want to go ahead and get some of the dollar store cleaning supplies and definitely review it for you guys. And some of the dollar store cleaning supplies are really good. And when I do get some, I would like to review it for you guys so that way you can go ahead and purchase it yourself because we all like to save a dollar because I like to save a dollar and so should you because if I'm saving a dollar I want you to save a dollar and if the dollar store brand can do it just as good as the other brands hey why not not only were they using the books to build buildings but they also were drawing I'm just getting the board nice and clean for them so that way when they are ready to draw again it's ready to go Cause we're spending the night And it feels alright But it's over now this Dyson is probably a hundred years old and it is still working. I think the reason why we haven't got a cordless one yet is because this one still works just as good. Why fix it if it's not broken? I don't know how long this vacuum is going to last, but as long as it's still working, I'm still using it. But at some point I would like to get a cordless vacuum because I do know that the cordless vacuums are a lot lighter. Cause I know this one, it is heavy. It is so so much heavier compared to the cordless ones that's another reason why one day I would love 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 to change this vacuum but like I mentioned it still works So overall the living room is not too bad, I'm just picking up the stuff that's on the floor and also the kids doctor set, they got the doctor set for Christmas this year and they love to pull it out to play doctor which is interesting which is so cute because they throw on their doctor scrub, their hat, their mask, just everything and they go around taking our temperatures and of course being the mommy that I am I just take a whole bunch of pictures and record some videos for them so they can watch it's just really cute seeing my little future doctors with their scrubs on
So this little bassinet here, I don't know what it's called, but I just call it a little bassinet. My little portable bassinet that I like to keep right next to me for when I'm working, just so he can be close to mommy. The foot part of it broke, which I was really disappointed. I was thinking about getting a new one, and of course, Mr. Handyman saved the day and fixed it. I swear this guy can fix anything, but yeah, he went ahead and fixed it, and he fixed it so well, it doesn't even look like it was broken, and he reinforced both sides. So I feel so much better now. Keep your company in the late, late night, only you and I. All we got is time staying inside and hold you close to me. I can be your company. Guys, all I did was pick up the gates and I thought I broke it. When I picked it up and I'm like, oh man, I broke it. <laughs> but I got it fixed. This is the doctor set I was talking about earlier. The kids got it for Christmas and they use it every single day. Although my kids are not on YouTube, but I record them a lot. Any little cute moments, just recording every little cute moments because I like to capture all that. So that way when I'm 80 years old, old and gray, so I can have home videos to look back and watch when they were just tiny little human beings. Guys, it sounds like mommy duty is calling. Baby is awake, I can hear him. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my mommy hat and let the music play for the rest of the video.
out of my method glass cleaner once I'm out um, instead of buying another one I'm just gonna start using my dollar store one my dollar store works just as good as the method one the only difference I noticed is that the method one smells so much better which the dollar store just straight smells like nothing aka chemical so this one at least you know it has some kind of set to it to give the house a nice aroma.
Just wanna go guys so much for watching this video i appreciate it so much if you are new please go ahead and subscribe to my channel thank you all and i will see you guys in the next video bye